Today we're watching Mariah and Miguel perform Beautiful Life. Hey kids, Treacle here and welcome back to my channel. We are celebrating the era of me, I am this week. It's an era that I do have mixed feelings about because the album for me has a bit of an identity crisis. I talk about this in my album rating video. If you haven't seen that already, do check it out. The album was delayed for quite a long time. By the time we got it, I felt like it was a mishmash of songs. Mariah was in different moods, in different moments. And there are songs that I really, really love, but overall, I don't think it's the most cohesive thing. I don't know, but I got so excited in the summer of 2013 when we thought this, the album was going to come out because we got beautiful, or hashtag beautiful, if you want to go with that. But Mariah and Miguel on this, bringing back like a retro R&B vibe. I love beautiful so, so much. It is such a smooth, sexy summer jam. And... It set the album up really well, but then the album went through this whole difficulty and we didn't get it till the next year. Anyway, we are watching a live performance today and it is beautiful with Mariah and Miguel and it's on Good Morning America. So it's another early start for Mariah. I don't know how she does this all the time, but let's get into it. I know it is the pink dress moment. She was looking so beautiful during the summer of 2013. Of course, she was on American Idol. So um, yeah, we know she was body snatched turning good looks, great stylist during this period. Yeah. Yes. Um, good morning, America. First time. That is so great. Coming together. Yes. You want to introduce me? Ladies and I gentlemen, loved her hair. To the stage, Miguel. Not just this performance, but like around this era, through this era. Come on down here first. Simple, but to very sexy. Very good set. Oh. You didn't hear that. Her shoes. All right, go on up. What is happening? This seems to happen um, regularly <laughs> with GMA. It's it's live TV. The cameraman doesn't know where he should be pointing. Miguel doesn't look like he knows he's about to go on stage. That first shot of him, it should be him coming on the stage and he's just there, like actually turns his back to the camera. No one seems to know what's happening, but the music is starting. So hopefully that <laughs> clues everyone in that actually we're ready. We're ready for you. Yikes. Oh yes, Mariah's on her little throne. <laughs> Yeah, piece in, out. How'd you like it? What happened to him? I haven't followed him. I He was really hot at that time and I really um, enjoyed his music. I was like, ooh, I'm interested. I went in, had a little listen. And yeah, I haven't followed him since, admittedly. Okay. But to the queen, the hair, the dress, I'm all for it. But more than anything, it's the fact that she is without shoes. I don't know why, but it's just really fun. And she's, it's fun and flirty. That's what it is. The music video, when she's kind of frolicking around in the yellow dress in front of the car, she is replicating that really, really well here in this performance. I forgot that she was shoeless and kicking her feet about and everything. I, that's why I love this performance. Look how cute she is. They seem to have fun when they perform this together. Look at her. If I had one critique at the time, it felt like it was almost, rather than Mariah featuring Miguel or Mariah and Miguel, it did feel a little bit, not Miguel featuring Mariah, but it just took a damn long time for her to like really come in like properly and like in a meaningful way. Like I think it just, yeah, we needed to hear her solo vocals earlier than we got them. And it is a really short, 
song, the whole song is like, what, 320 or something on top of my head? I don't know, but it, it's very radio friendly. But I remember a lot of people kind of saying, this doesn't feel like Mariah's song because she doesn't, she's barely there. And I don't subscribe completely to that, but I do understand where you're coming from. Because like here, we have a few shots and there's a few oohs and ahs and harmonizing. The cameraman's on her, we want her, we want her, but it's not her time just yet. So that's what I mean by I kind of get it, I kind of get it. But we're ready for her now. Love that when she goes down low. I think this serves her very well because she is on the chair, throne, basically a white throne. She's up on this platform, up on this pedestal. Miguel is working the stage. He's moving around, let her be revered up on this pedestal, on this throne. And he's got, you know, a foot on the stair, little steps. He's kind of like looking up and adoring her. And he is, um, uh, she is playing with him. And there's good interaction. Every time they did this live, which was just a handful of times, right? I can think of another one where she, I don't love it as much. She's like, um, a bit hokey pokey and a bit like um, in the straw or whatever. It's fun, but I, I like this. I prefer the dress and the throne. But my point is the chemistry between them. And I think it was a nice balance. Oh, my girl has climbed a tower to meet the queen. <laughs> Has she performed without shoes before or since? Oh, uh, look at Trey with his glasses in that grey weather. <laughs> like, just as you're getting into the song, it's time for it to end. Oh yeah, it's down on the knees. <laughs> That's what we want. Gorgeous. Look at her legs go. <laughs> she is having fun. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you so much. Give it up for Mariah Carey one more time. We made it, New York. Thank you for waking up with me this morning on GMA. Thank you for waking up with me this morning on GMA. It must be crazy early, crazy early. There she is. I want to say full glam. And we have seen her on GMA in like full glam mode. That's like more of a stripped down, relaxed glam. And I love that. I love that it is like a mirror image of what she was portraying in the beautiful music video. Just fun, flirty, simple dress, simple like tussled locks and footloose <laughs> and fancy free. <laughs> I love Beautiful so much. I think it really set the album Me I Am up really, really well. Of course, the album at that point was going to be titled The Art of Letting Go. I was so looking forward to it. And the album was not a disappointment. It just changed. It evolved into something different as, as we went through the rest of 2013 into 2014. But just looking at Beautiful as a single music video, love it so, so much. We've got some cool remixes as well, of course. But live, I just love seeing Mariah and Miguel together because she gets to bounce off his energy and he is a personality, he does have character. And I think it's super cute. I think his performance was cute. 
What do you guys think of Beautiful? Did you enjoy it as a single? And are you a fan of Miguel? Have you followed him before or after this? I need to, this is a good reminder for me. I need to like delve in a little bit more and reach into his music a little bit more maybe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I will see you there as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, thanks a lot.